London is not quite a destination for cycling. For the most part, you become a professional traffic dodger, filtering through busy main roads, and if you'd like to just enjoy a bike ride within the city, there really aren't many places to do so. Thankfully, London has some brilliant parks and open spaces where you can enjoy a peaceful, safe, and fun bike ride, no matter your fitness or ability. Introducing the Richmond Park National Obstacle Course. Recently, the Royal Parks has put up some absolutely brilliant next generation cutting edge infrastructure to make your bike ride not only more fun, but mentally more stimulating. Why settle for just boring paved high quality tarmac when you can now test your bike handling skills in your next criterion? What's even better is that it's fun, it's fast and it's free, beating the cost of living crisis one feature at a time. Here's what the locals thought about it. Well, basically, it's really, really good, and I like how it has been placed optimally. The perfect balance allowing me to really level up my bike handling skills. Now, finally, I can make it into Cat 3. I think it's a marvel of modern day engineering. They've chosen the right materials for it, and it prevents big lorries from trying to get in, and those lorries are quite scary. Although I really like the Volvo FH460 Globetrotter, it's really cleverly designed and it's got a huge cab for I like trains. Let's have a deeper look into these recently installed features. First up, we have the Bottleneck Simulator, designed to test your braking skills and bunch positioning practice. This is a great installation to help you practice changing your lines last minute and see how late you can brake, or rather, I mean, how fast could you fit through this gap? Perfectly positioned right at the bottom of the longest and steepest hill in Richmond Park, where you'll easily rack up speeds in excess of 50 to 60 kilometers an hour without pedaling to give you the most gravitational potential energy straight into it, you'll be glad to hear that it has been built with the finest, splinterless and softest wood with smoothed out corners for extra padding. So if anything does go wrong, all is good. Plus you'll have superb visibility into the mini roundabout right at the exit. Add some roaming gear into the mix and you've arguably the perfect mini obstacle course right here. Enjoy! Oh, more deer, Galvin. The tabletops. Pan flat, smooth roads are boring and for the unadventurous. Here's some added road texture to keep you on the edge of your seat, literally. Who has priority? Who knows? Who cares? Approach with enough speed, get sendy, and see how much airtime you can get. Now roadies can finally get some practice with their jumps like their mountain biker counterparts. This is arguably the scariest feature in the whole park. I know some of you will have a fear of these so-called speed bumps, but I full faith that you'll slowly get over it. Pun intended, sorry. The numbers game. Is it 10 or 20? 10? Or 20? Or 10? Or 20? 10? Or 20? A local legend once said these were speed limits, but I highly doubt that is. I mean, look how it's been placed. If you actually believe these are speed limits, it probably looks something like this. Illegal! Speed limit! Speed limit! That's illegal, that's illegal, that's illegal, yeah, 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 illegal. Well, in any case, if something does happen and you're pulled Hello. over for speeding, all you've got to do is just dispose of your speed telling device. Sorted. The, uh, yeah, ain't gonna lie, I tried getting a response from the Royal Parks, but really couldn't get an answer. Some furniture and features have been installed here, but honestly, it's got everyone a bit puzzled. Uh oh, fuck me, mate. Okay, oh shit, mate. Given half of the lane on each side has been converted into fresh sand slash gravel, I think it's just so you can get your taste of riding gravel in the park. Very on trend I see. Or maybe you could use it as a makeshift bike hanger after climbing up the hill. Or perhaps if you're feeling a bit of shade on a warm day, this would be ideal. 
the magic wands. So there's no Cinderella to be found here, but what's really magical about this installation is that it's made this space where you can kind of just repurpose it for anything you want. This is arguably my favourite installation in the park. Creativity knows no bounds. This could really be a space for hardcore influencing. A path for fellow pedestrians that leads to precisely nowhere. A large set of agility cones on or off the bike. doing whatever you call this or even for some mid-ride kickboxing practice <laughs> what a thoughtful and practical feature really good to know the royal parks caters to a diverse range of interests right that is it from me today i hope this video has been useful and informative for anyone considering riding their bike at richmond park see you in the next video <laughs> ah, <fuck. laughs> what in the blood flight is happening? <laughs> riding their bike in Regent's Park. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah, like that, literally. <laughs> <laughs> <Get it? Yeah. laughs> you can't laugh! <laughs> I fucking laughed. Oh my days, you're gonna... I've done it again! <laughs> Stop laughing! Stop laughing! <laughs>